All right, hey, what's up guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. All right, today I'm going to do a video uh, answering a comment that came in in, uh, in one of the recent videos I did on receiver play from King Tynan. All right, he wants to know what things can you put on your resume to get your foot in the door if you don't have connections. So I want to talk to you today a little bit about is, is not so much the things that you're going to put on your resume if you don't have connections. It's about how to make those connections. We want to talk about opening more doors and making more connections. On your resume is going to be factual um, you know, information, things like your education, your undergraduate degree, your master's degree. So on my resume, it's going to say my undergrad degree is criminal justice from St. John's University in Jamaica, Queens. My master's degree is in education from St. John's University in Jamaica, Queens. Then you're going to put your work experience. So how long I've been a teacher, the schools that I've taught at, the subjects, the subjects that I've taught. Then I'm going to put my coaching experience down. And I'm going to put down how long I've been a head coach, what I did as a graduate assistant at St. John's, any camps I might have worked, okay? Then I'm going to put down any uh, certificates I might have. If I have any strength association certificates or, you know, uh, I believe it's uh, NS, what is it, National Strength? Uh, National Strength Conditioning, NSCA or one of those. If you have a strength and conditioning uh, certificate, if you belong to a, to a, a group like the AFCA, all right, or if you belong to a group in your state like the FACA in Florida, you're going to want to put things like that down. All right, you're going to want to put down other skills that you have. If you're proficient in things like Microsoft Excel and Word and PowerPoint, Zoom teleconferencing, if you understand how to use Zoom uh, in today's world, it's becoming even bigger with virtual clinics and virtual meetings. If you understand how to do those things, if you know anything about video editing, if you know uh, or, or jobs you've done in Huddle and what you've done at Huddle and programs before, any other skills that you might have are things you're going to want to put on your resume. But that's all common knowledge that everybody understands about building a resume because a resume is made out of factual information that you have actually experienced or gone through in your life. Work experience, school experience, um, you know, organizations that you belong to, things like that. Okay. As far as your experiences in your life, your resume can only be spiced up by you spicing up the experiences in your life. So by you joining more organizations or getting other certificates, if you're, uh, if you're certified in social studies, let's say, and then you go out and you get an English certificate or a math certificate or a science certificate, if you had multiple certifications on your resume, that is going to spice up your resume, all right, to help your resume look better. If you've coached multiple positions in football, that's going to spice up your resume to make it look better. If you've been an offensive line coach and a defensive line coach, if you've coached multiple levels of football, so if you've coached junior high and JV and varsity and maybe even college, if you have multiple varying experiences at different levels of football, that is going to make your resume stand out. But what I want to talk to you about today is how to build a social network so that we open more doors, all right? I wanted to make sure I address King Tynan's uh, question about the resume, but the bottom line with today's video is it's going to be about opening more doors, not just how to make that resume look better in the one door that you're walking in. The bottom line is you want to brand yourself. You are your own business as a coach. You want to brand yourself or as a professional in the world. You've got to put yourself out there. You've got to open more doors. How do you open more doors? Social networking, especially in in, in, in a time like right now with what we're going through with the coronavirus and social distancing and stay home and stay safe, people can't get out, but they can still meet other people because you can do it on various social media platforms, okay? So Twitter is a great one, all right? There's my Twitter handle, at CoachMac8740. When I started doing YouTube videos seven years ago, I started the Twitter. I had no idea how to use Twitter. I had no idea what it was. I had to start from scratch, okay? But what you learn is it's it's the number one news feed in the world with things constantly coming across the timeline, the more people that you follow, the more people that follow you, the more things that come across your timeline. Then you learn how to use hashtags and follow hashtags, all right? And now when you put a, a something out there that you want people to see, if you put a hashtag on there that is hashtag coronavirus, everything that has been tagged hashtag coronavirus is going to go under one filter so that if anybody searches that hashtag, they're going to be able to see anything that was put there. So now you're getting your information or your comments or whatever you want to do out in front of multiple people. That's the bottom line. Grow your social network. Get in front of multiple people. All right, Instagram. My Instagram is also at Coach Mike eight seven four zero. Right now, for me, between Twitter and Instagram, I'm new to Instagram. I don't have a big following on Instagram. I really don't know how to use it. I have to ask my daughters and my friends and and my kids at school how to use Instagram. So I'm not good at it. I know there's Instagram TV to do longer videos. I know that you can only do 
uh, certain video clips on Instagram for X amount of time. I know that you can only put certain links in your bio. I can't put my YouTube videos on Instagram and have clickable hyperlinks in there for people to go to. But Instagram is another way to make social connections, to build your social network. Because what you want is you want to meet as many head coaches and as many principals or as many administrators in the football world as you possibly can because you never know when you're going to need that interview. Let, let's face it, whether it's football or the business world, more often than not, you're going, to end up, you're going to get an interview based on who you know more so than what you know. You're going to get an interview based on social interactions and friends and business partners than you are just on what your resume says. All right. The last time I've had three head uh, coaching jobs in my life and I've been on three interviews in my life and each time that I interviewed, I had to find and pull up my resume because I really had no idea where my, my, where my resume was because to me, my resume is a constant living work all right, in progress for me. So to pull it up on a computer to say, all right, I've got this format with this font and all this other stuff on a resume, anybody can build a resume. The bottom line is, is, is it's you getting yourself out there to open more doors and then based on the things that you've done and the people that you know, you get jobs because of that. So the first job I got, I knew the head coach. I came down and interviewed with the principal and I had everything on my resume. I had my undergrad and I had my grad degree and I had where I stood and taught. And I had all the stuff on there that you want to get. But the bottom line is when I sat down in the interview with that principal for about an hour, all right, it, it was just talking about life. It wasn't combing through my resume, all right? Now, I got the interview because I knew the head coach, and in the football world, that's the way things work. So I don't know if she would have combed through my resume and picked me out as a teacher to interview, but I know how I got the interview, and once I got the interview, it comes down to the other skills that you have. So it's about opening doors, social networking. Facebook is a great one. I'm not huge on Facebook as far as a business platform. I use Facebook every once in a while for family stuff. If we have pictures or things that my wife puts on there and I like other people's stuff, I don't have a Facebook business page. I'm just not good at it, but Facebook is another good one. Okay, When you get, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, and you're following hashtags, the more things you put, if you make a post, put as many relevant hashtags as you possibly can in that post. So if I post a football video, I'm going to put... Hashtag YouTube, hashtag Patreon, hashtag vlog, hashtag American football, hashtag wide receiver, hashtag offensive line, hashtag RPO. I'm going to put as many hashtags in there because it's going to get in front of more eyes. And that's what you want to do. You want to make yourself more marketable to more people and build your social network. Join community chats on Twitter. There's a great time. Almost every night, all right, there's a football chat. I do one on Sunday night, all right, the Florida high school football chat. You put hashtag FL. H S F B C H A T. Anything that is in those chats, you can follow and you can answer any of your answers to the questions. They all go in that hashtag. So you can join these community chats. It's a great way to meet more coaches. It's a great way to get yourself out there. And it's a great way to get people to know what you know about the game of football. If you want people to know what you know about the game of football, you have to get yourself out in front of people talking about the game of football, talking about yourself as a coach, marketing yourself as a coach. So get involved in community chats. Monday night, there's the hog football chat. Um, there's uh, Tuesday night, there's, there's, a, there's a chat, either a defensive chat, a 425 chat. Wednesday night, there's a Texas football chat. Thursday night, there's a special teams uh, wild bunch chat. There's, there's a chat almost every night of the week that you can find on football. Get involved, use the hashtags, get your name out there. All right? And last but not least, get involved in virtual clinics. Now, especially with the coronavirus and social distancing, there's guys all over the place doing free virtual clinics on Zoom. Get involved. Get yourself in front of other coaches. Get your face in front of other coaches. Get your opinion in front of other coaches. Get other people to know, all right, who you are, your opinion, how you conduct yourself. All right? I'm going to tell you guys the truth. When I started this YouTube channel seven years ago, I had never spoken any Glacier clinics. I had never spoken any football clinics. I had never done anything like that. My resume as a football coach was okay. At that time, I had been in the playoffs seven times in 13 years. Um, we were, we were coming off a 9-1 season. I had been to the third round of the playoffs. I have no state championships. I have no. I have five Division I players I've coached in, in my career. One that played at Florida and plays, was playing with the Tampa Bay uh, Vipers. I, I think they are in the XFL. But I don't have big-time major NFL players. I don't have state championships. I made my name through YouTube. I put my videos out there. I put myself out there. People started liking them. People started watching them. They liked the way I talk. They liked the, they liked the way I present information. They liked the way I coach. Next thing you know, I'm speaking at Glacier Clinics. Next thing you know, I hosted my own Play Fast Clinic. 
All right, so the bottom line, King Tynan and anybody else that's out there, you've got to market yourself, you've got to brand yourself, you've got to do a good job networking yourself on all the social media platforms that they have out there because your resume is going to be exactly what it is. It's your education, your work experience, your coaching experience. I don't know, when I look at resumes, I really can't thumb them out and go through um, and, and pick out on a resume who's better than who based on what it says on a resume. All right, so get yourself out there, interact with other coaches, meet as many coaches as possible, open as many doors as possible. That's the bottom line if you want to create opportunities for yourself. As always, guys, I appreciate everything you've done for Play Fast Football. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications so you know every time we do a video and every time that I go on YouTube Live, notifications will let you know. Click thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, in, on a video if you like or do not like the comments so we know what videos to do in the future. And as always, send us comments and send messages because I did a topic like this based off a comment from one of my subscribers All right, that watch. So I always respond to every message that I can. So make sure you are interacting with the videos with comments. All right. I appreciate everything you do. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay clean. Socially distant. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast.